When most people think of Arizona, they automatically think of the Grand Canyon. And camping at the Grand Canyon, how can you go wrong with that? How's it going? Welcome to the Campendium YouTube channel where it's our hope and our goal to provide you with the resources and the information to get out there and camp. And today we're talking about camping at the Grand Canyon in Arizona. I mean, it's one of those places that's just a must see. If you're going to Arizona and you're going through this area, you have to go check out one of the natural wonders of the world especially when there's camping nearby. And you can spend more than the, the typical 17 minutes at the canyon's edge of the five million people that go there in a year. Uh, if you're camping there and you have your RV there, you can spend a little bit more time and enjoy more of the canyon. So let's look at some of the options that you have. Camping at the South Rim is very popular, gets a lot of traffic because it's uh, easier to get to, it has a lot of resources and amenities, uh, so it's a great option for people that are wanting to go to the canyon. You can access the South Park entrance uh, through Williams, Arizona, which if, you know, if you've seen our family channel, you know we love Williams, it's on Route 66. Uh, but if you want to get into the park proper and have full hookups, then uh, the trailer village might be what you're looking for. A review from following your DT sums it up well, saying, being within walking distance or a quick shuttle ride away from the Grand Canyon makes this RV park a must. While the sites are small and the facilities aren't anything fancy, the location simply can't be beat. We rode our bikes to the Grand Canyon for sunrise and sunset, and were there in less than five minutes. The park was also filled with elk, which was fun. There's definitely not a shortage of hikes and other activities to do in this area. But if you'd rather trade full hookups for a little bit more space, then you could check out Mather Campground. Zamia Venture says, we loved staying at Mather for four days to visit the Grand Canyon. The surrounding forest was filled with deer, elk, and birds, yet had enough breaks in the tree cover to allow for decent solar power generation for our portable panel during the day. We felt like we were in the isolated forest, even though we were in the middle of the biggest of the busiest national parks. If you don't wanna be camping inside the busiest national park, uh, then you can look just outside the park and you have options like Forest Road 302. It's only 20 minutes from the entrance of the park. It's set in the woods, but it's still very close to town with helicopter tours flying overhead. The good part is the evenings are nice and quiet so you can enjoy that evening campfire. If you're looking for other options in the area, you can stay at the campground 10X and it only costs you $10. It's in the National Forest. A review from Slimer says, what an amazing campground this is. And if we could give it more stars, we would. The campground is very well maintained, clean, well-priced, and sites are very large in size. It's located extremely close to the entrance of the Grand Canyon National Park, as well as the little town before it but yet it doesn't feel crowded at all. If you're looking to be in the forest, but you don't want to pay the 10 bucks, you can look at Forest Road 688, where Larissa Collins says, 688 is easy to find and pretty easy to navigate down. We took our motorcycle to the park, so needless to say, the road is pretty easy to get down. We have a 37 foot toy hauler and a Dodge 2500. We had no problem. We went in about a mile down the road for our site. And sticking with the National Forest theme, there's also Forest Road 306, where Jazzer North says, we pulled our 38 foot fifth wheel and parked it easily. We found a nice, lovely spot to park. It was quiet and dark and perfect for a peaceful boondocking experience. Now, if you don't mind putting in the extra time and effort to drive to the North Rim, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So let me give you three options of places that you can take your RV. And if you don't mind rough roads, this first one might be the option that you're looking for. And it's Point Sublime. And if you keep your eyes peeled, you might actually even see a bison in the area. Or you could go to the North Rim Campground, where one review says, this was an incredible site and an incredible campground. Our site number 14 and the sites on either side bordered the trail that goes along the rim of the Grand Canyon. Amazing. It was a pull through site with no hookups. We got a decent amount of sunlight every day for the solar panels. And last but not least for the North Rim is Forest Road 611 East Rim. Living in a stream said, unreal experience right on the edge of the North Rim. The review said, easy, albeit slow, drive up a well-maintained, hard-packed gravel road 
in our 32 foot Winnebago to find several spots right on the rim. Never had a view from a campsite like this. So quiet and peaceful too. Weather was incredible. Highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s. Perfect for a cool break from the summer heat. Only wish we could have stayed longer. As usual, I hope that this list kind of whet your appetite uh, to want to see more of it. So I'm going to put a link down in the description to the full article about camping near the Grand Canyon. Um, also check out each of those sites that if you wanted to get more information on those campsites, uh, there'll be a link down in the description to each one of those that we talked about. So that's going to do it for today. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if uh, you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And uh, remember to keep exploring and to stay safe. We will see you next time.